Hello, in this video I'm going to work on some revision questions on how to solve linear inequalities. Um, the first question I have here in front of me, uh, it states to find the set of values of x for which, and in this case we have 3 times x minus 2 is uh, greater, greater than x minus 4, and uh, 4x plus 12, 4x plus 12 is uh, greater than 2x plus 17, plus 17. Right, so I mean, for each uh, inequality, we just solve it um, the same way that we would solve a, 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 a standard linear equation, really. Um, uh, and so by that, I mean, first we'll just uh, uh, distribute the 3, so it's going to be 3x minus 6 is greater than x minus 4, and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll work on the right hand, um, right side, in a qual the quality on the right side as well, simultaneously, so um, here we don't really have to uh, dis uh, distribute anything, we just need to well, subtract 2 from both sides, and 12 from both sides, uh, and that's going to be 4x minus 2x, I'll just write all the steps, uh, and 17 minus 12. Now, uh, again, that's the same thing we want to do here. Um, we just want to uh, subtract x from both sides and add 6 to both sides. And so we're going to get 3x minus x is greater than uh, uh, 6 minus 4. Um, and, of course, this is going to equal 2x. And 6 minus 4 is 2. And in terms of the quality on the right, we have 2x, I'll just write it this way, save some space, so 2x uh, is greater than uh, 5, 17 minus 12 is 5. And now we just divide by 2 on both sides, uh, so we get x is greater than um, uh, 5 halves, uh, which is the same as 2 and 1 half, um, but I'll just leave it like that. And on the left here, we have uh, 2x is greater than 2. You divide by 2 on both sides, and you're going to, it's going to x is greater than 1. And the question explicitly states, or well, yeah, explicitly asks us to find the set of values. And the word set is key here, um, because now we are, now we can just basically draw a number line. Um, like so, and uh, in, in, in that case we see that um, x is greater than 5 halves and it's also greater than 1, so we can just start at, uh, at 0 and say that we have, uh, and 1, of, uh, oh yeah, so we have 1, we've got 2, 3, 4, I don't need to put the uh, it's many, but that's all right. Um, so on the first uh, inequality here, we have x is greater than one, so it's going to it's going to look like that. It's greater than one, and here we have x is greater than uh, five halves, which is two and one half. So you can picture it maybe right about there, and it's greater than two and one half. So it's going to it's going to look like that, um, and so in, in a case like this. Uh, the required set of values is basically x equals, or x is greater than uh, 2 and 1 half. Right, and um, work on another one. Um, find the set of values of x for which 2x minus 3, 2x minus 3 is greater than 2. 2x minus 3 is greater than 2, um, and 3 times x plus 2 is is uh, is less than, sorry, not greater than, is less than um, 12 plus x, 12 plus x. Right, so for the inequality on the left, um, it's quite straightforward, we're just going to add 3 to both sides, so um, we have 2x is greater than uh, 5. 
and on the right we're just going to distribute this 3, we've got a 3x plus 6 um, um, 3x plus 6 and uh, this is going to be less than uh, 12 plus x and then so in this case we're just going to subtract x from both sides and sub or subtract x from both sides and subtract 6 from both sides um, so uh, that would just leave us with 2x I'm not going to write all the steps uh, less than so it's 2x less than 6 divide by 2 from bo uh, on both sides uh, and we get x is less than 3 um, now in this case we have 2x is greater than 5, so we just divide by 2 from both sides, we get x is greater than uh, 5 over 2, 5 halves, which again is uh, 2 and 1 half. So on the number line, I'll just draw a number line, oops, it's not very straight, straight as possible really. Um, so we know that x is less than 3, x is greater than uh, 5 halves, which is 2 and 2 halves, so um, I'll start maybe down at negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and I'll just go all the way to 5, I might as well just go all the way to 5, 5, right here. Um, so x is greater than 5 halves, which is 2 and 1 half, so 2 and 1 half, we know is right here, and x is greater than, so it's going to run this way. Uh, while x is less than 3, so oops, it's going to run this way, and therefore the, um, the required set of values is um, x is greater than, um, I'll put 2 and 1 half, and less than 3. which uh, is this space right here, if I can mark it, some, it's, yeah, uh, I'll just use a color to make it explicit, it's right in here, okay, but it can't equal 3, and it can't equal 2 and a half, it's greater than both, so it's right in that little margin right there, cool, um, let's do one more example, work on one more example here, um, find the set of values of x for which for which 3x plus 8 plus 8 is less than or equal to um, uh, 20 and um, 2 times 3x minus 7 is uh, greater than greater than or equal to x plus 6 6. Okay, so um, first thing we're going to do on the left hand side for this inequality is just subtract 8 from both sides, which means we're, we'll have uh, 3x is less than or equal to 12. And on the right hand side, we're just going to dis distribute this 2, so it's 6x minus 14 is uh, greater than or equal to x plus 6. Now we're just going to uh, rearrange this a little bit. Um, so we're going to subtract 6 from both sides and add 14 to both sides. Um, so we will end up with 5x is greater than or equal to um, 20. And now we just divide by 5 on, on both sides and x is uh, greater than or equal to um, 4. And on the left hand side we're just going to divide by 3 on both sides and for this inequality. So x is less than or equal to 4, um, which is curious. So we see that x is less than or equal to 4, and x is <laughs> greater than or equal to 4. Well, it can be both, um, and, uh, but the, 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 uh, they can equal, it can equal 4. So on, the, on a number, if you were to draw a number line, it would look a little bit silly, I guess. Um, uh, uh, I'll just start at... Uh, I'll just start at 0, say this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, okay, I'll go to 6, it's not very uh, well done in terms of scale, but that's fine, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
Um, so uh, so um, it can equal 4, so it's a solid dot, so x is less than or equal to 4, so it's going to look like that. And uh, that's it, or x is uh, greater than or equal to 4, so again a solid dot, and it's going to look like that. And so really clearly the required set of values uh, is x is uh, equal to 4. And that's it.